Jack London was born on January 12, 1876 in San Francisco into a poor family. He was raised by his mother as he never knew his father. The man he thought was his biological father, William Cheney, denied ever being married to his mother. At the age of 13, London had to work in Hickmutt's canning factory on a 12-hour working day to support his mother. Sometimes the shift extended into 18 hours. This was a difficult life for London. In a bid to get out of this unbearably hard work, London borrowed money to buy an old small boat and became an oyster pirate. After a few months, his boat became damaged beyond repair. London then crossed to the law and became a member of the California Fisheries Patrol. In 1893, London boarded the sailing schooner Sophie Sutherland heading to Japan. When he returned, London found Oakland in labor unrest. After undertaking jobs in a jute mill and a street railway power plant, London joined Cox's army and began his career as a tramp. In 1894, London spent 30 days in Erie County Penn for wandering. After a series of unfavorable adventures, London returned to civilized life. He managed to graduate from Oakland High School with hard work of self-training. In 1896, he entered the University of California in the autumn. However, financial circumstances forced London to quit university in 1897, and he never graduated. London, who would never give up, went on to self-educate himself. In 1897, London left for the Klondike Golden Fever and became a gold digger. However, London had a very tough time in the harsh Klondike, which was even detrimental to his health. London lost his four front teeth in the event. London soon concluded that his only open escape from poverty was to receive education and sell his brain, which he did. In 1898, London began to write stories and made serious attempts to publish them, which was another round of battle for him. When he eventually got his first narrative published, London got only $5 for it, against his expectation. But London never gave up on his writing career. He later published another of his stories that were all accepted and paid for. He got $40 for it. With the power of consistency, London soon acquired $2,500 by 1900, which is equal to today's $50,000. Since then, London wrote so many books and novels. After losing an election, London became a stubborn writer, which kept him popular and successful all through his lifetime. At the time of his death on November 22nd, 1916, London had written about 145 short stories, 23 novels, 45 poetries, among other plays and autobiographies. Here's the thing, the number one secret of success in life is keep on trying. Some people call it persistence. I love to call it stubbornness because that's what it is. Our world today is filled with a lot of people who have given up. Most of these people have only tried a few things. And when they experience failures in those things, they make excuses and give up their dreams. I have friends who failed in business two or three times. Then they concluded that they can succeed. As for me, I failed for eight years and I never turned back. Anthony Robbins calls it massive actions. That's what he takes. Do you have some lofty dreams? Don't expect it to come to pass so easily. Like London, you'll make mistakes. Like him, you'll get rejected. Like him, you'll spend all you have and get broke. Some of your ideas won't work because they are not well conceived. Some of your projects and dreams will fail because you didn't have the right information. And that's why you have to be willing to try something else, something new. If you want to go far in life, you must learn how to renew your enthusiasm after failures or setbacks. Winston Churchill said, success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. You must keep your enthusiasm alive. You must learn how to stand up after each fall. You must avoid the poisonous meal called excuse. Because when you make excuses, you're eating the food that will affect your dream. If you like this video, do subscribe to this channel. So you'll be notified when we publish our next video. Also, like this video or share it with your friends on social media. Thank you. We love you.